Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install the latest version of Python on your Windows 10 operating system. But before installing, let's check whether Python is already installed on your Windows operating system or not. So for that, you just need to uh, search for CMD and open the command prompt from here. And once the command prompt is open, you just need to type uh, Python here in order to check whether Python is already installed or not. So you can see when you give this Python command, it doesn't reply anything, right? That means Python is most probably not installed on your Windows operating system. On Windows 10, when I type uh, Python on my command prompt, it also opens this uh, Microsoft Store and it'll ask me to download this uh, Python 3.7 from the Microsoft Store, but don't do this, right? I'm going to show you how you can download the latest version officially from the official website. So now we want to install the Python latest version. So just open your favorite browser and search for Python. And the first link which will appear here will be from uh, python.org. So we are going to click on this link. And once this website opens, when I scroll a little bit down, you will be able to see under downloads, the latest version at the time of making this video is Python 3.9.1, right? So we are going to install this 3.9.1 version of Python. In order to download it, you can just click on this uh, download uh, button and then you can choose your operating system and then click on this option which says Python 3.9.1 which is going to start the download of this Python exe file. At the time of making this video, this file is around 26.9 megabytes. So I will wait for the download to complete. So once this executable file is downloaded, I'm going to just click on this executable file and I'm going to minimize my browser. So once you see this setup window, what you need to do, you need to do two things before you proceed further. The first thing is you need to check this checkbox, which says add Python 3.9 to path. What this is going to do is it's going to add the Python in your environmental variables. And when you type Python on the terminal, it's going to recognize the Python command. So that's what this option is going to do. The second thing is we are not going to go with the default install now option because you see this path here, which is a little bit longer to remember. And if you want to, let's say, just go to the Python installation uh, directly, you might not be able to remember this path easily, right? So what I generally do, I generally click on this option, which is customize installation. And you can leave everything as default here, click on next. And here I choose instead of this long path, I generally just give uh, the C directory path. So I generally use uh, this path, which is C colon backslash and Python 3.9 because we are installing the Python 3.9. That's why I named it as Python 3.9. Otherwise, you can also uh, just name it as Python. This is uh, just your choice totally. OK, so I will leave it as Python 3.9. Also, you can see uh, all these options here. So if you want to debug your Python code, then you can download the debugging symbols and you can download the uh, debugging binaries. Uh, this also is totally on you. Also, you have the pre-compiled standard library. So uh, it's totally on you. If you want all these uh, symbols and uh, debug symbols, you can check all these checkboxes. But for now, I will leave everything as default. And then now I'm going to click on the install button, which is going to show me this uh, kind of window. I will just say yes, which is going to start the installation of Python on my Windows 10 operating system. So just wait for the installation to complete. It doesn't take much time. So now, as you can see, uh, the Python is successfully installed on my uh, Windows 10 operating system. 
in the last uh, window you will also see uh, this option which says disable path length limit so you can do it right now you can do it later also so i will leave it uh, everything as it is you can choose uh, this and then uh, uh, you can disable the path length limit from here also so i'm going to just click on close and now i'm going to just open command prompt once again so i'm going to just search for cmd and open the command prompt and once again i'm going to just type python here you can also type python hyphen hyphen version here and it's going to show you the version of python which you have installed so we have installed python 3.9.1 and you can see the version here when you type python here it's going to open the python interactive uh, shell here it's also called python repl and here you can type your python commands for example you can just test uh, some commands here for example 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 or you can just type uh, print and then you can uh, just write hello and just close these brackets and it's going to print hello so now python is working on our terminal or command prompt you can also see that when you click on this start button and when you see on the top under recently added you will be able to see uh, the python idle which is the python ide which is installed when you install uh, python on your windows operating system so let's click on this idle option just click on idle option and it's going to open this kind of idle window so first of all what i'm going to do because this font is really small i'm going to just click on option and then configure idle and then I'm going to just increase the size of uh, the fonts. Let's say I'm going to choose uh, 22 here. And then uh, I can uh, just click on OK. And then it's going to uh, just increase the font size. So you can uh, see the fonts uh, uh, in a better way, right? Here also, it looks like a terminal, but you can create the Python files using this idle IDE and you can uh, do all the cool stuff with this so i'm going to once again type for example uh, print here and i'm going to just print something let's say hello again and uh, then it's going to just show you the output or you can just uh, do some simple arithmetic operations or whatever you want to test you can do uh, in this idle uh, terminal also also it comes with the python terminal so when you once again go to the start menu and when you click on the expand option you will be able to see this option which says python 3.964 bit i'm going to just click on this option and it opens this python shell so this is not the command prompt it's called the python shell and here in the properties uh, let's say i'm going to once again increase the font size to let's say 24 i'm going to apply this so it looks uh, bigger and then i can just write print and once again i can type hello and it's going to print hello and some arithmetic operation right so everything is working fine so in this way you can download and install python on your windows operating system i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video